The Hazard Communication Standard, also known as HASCOM or the Right to Understand Standard, describes what employers, including schools, must do to handle hazardous chemicals safely. You have a right to understand the hazardous chemicals in your workplace. Your employer is legally obligated to provide you with information about chemical hazards, which will also help you understand how to protect yourself. Chemical exposure may contribute to or cause a variety of health effects such as rashes, burns, kidney damage, heart ailments, lung damage, possibly even death. Everyone is entitled to a safe and healthful place to work. You have the right to understand what you may be exposed to while working, as well as how to protect yourself from chemical exposure. Hazardous chemicals commonly found in schools include degreasers, oils, grease and lubricants, toner and ink, cleaning agents, solvents, aerosols, glues and adhesives, paints, varnishes, and stains, gas cylinders, and developers and fixes. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, also known as OSHA, is the primary government agency to regulate the manufacture, use, and display of safety information for chemicals. Other federal agencies that regulate chemicals include the Consumer Product Safety Commission, the Food and Drug Administration, the Environmental Protection Agency, the Drug Enforcement Agency, and the Department of Transportation. Your school has certain responsibilities that must be met regarding hazardous chemicals. These include the following. Develop and implement a written hazard communication program. Inventory all hazardous materials on campus and acquire and keep on file safety data sheets. Identify hazards by labeling all chemicals on campus and using SDSs. Train employees on hazards and protective measures. And identify individuals responsible for implementing the components of the hazard communication program. As a school employee, you have a responsibility to follow all procedures and policies relating to chemicals, refrain from operations involving hazardous chemicals without proper instruction and or authorization, seek out and request information, wear appropriate personal protective equipment, and report accidents immediately, even minor injuries or exposures. Most often, product labels will be your best source of information about the chemical hazard of the product. Read all product labels before mixing any chemicals together, and always dispose of old or unused chemicals in the manner dictated by the label. An SDS is a bulletin put out by a chemical manufacturer detailing the physical hazards of a product, such as their explosive or reactive properties, and the health hazards of the product, such as causing irritation, lung damage, or cancer. Your employer is required to provide you with access to an SDS of all chemicals used on site. By knowing the hazards associated with chemicals in your workplace, you can minimize the possibility of serious injuries resulting from improper handling. The law also requires you to use this training and equipment to keep yourself and others safe. If you're not sure how to handle a chemical, check with your supervisor or your school's hazard communication program before proceeding. Remember to always read the product label and review the SDS before using a chemical. To handle chemicals in the safest manner possible, you must know how chemicals react with other chemicals. You must also know how they react with simple things in the environment, such as air and water. In 2012, OSHA issued a revision to the HASCOM standard, which gave workers the right to not only know the hazards of a chemical, but to also be given the information in a way that is easy to understand. The HASCOM standard determines how chemical safety information is relayed to workers. The revised standard covers all hazardous chemical substances. Pharmaceuticals, food additives, cosmetics, and pesticide residues in food will not be covered at the point of consumption. Instead, they will be covered where workers manufacture them and during their transportation. The Globally Harmonized Classification and Labeling of Chemicals, GHS, is a system for standardizing and harmonizing the classification and labeling of chemicals worldwide. Not every part of the GHS was adopted by OSHA for the 2012 revision of the HASCOM standard. The revision will bring new labeling and new safety data sheets to consumers in the U.S., including a set of nine hazard and warning pictograms that should be memorized. These pictograms will be explained in detail in the label requirements section of this course. Product labels are your best source of information about the hazards of any product. Product labels are required by law to provide certain information about the product. Labels must be in English. If your school employs staff members who speak other languages, the label may be in their language as well, but the English version is required. The revised HASCOM standard labeling requirements state that, by law, product labels must show the following. A product identifier or name, a signal word, usually danger or warning, to alert the reader of health, environmental, and physical hazards and their severity, a hazard statement, which describes the nature of the hazard and the level of severity, pictograms shown with a white background and a red border, a precautionary statement, which describes measures that should be taken to minimize adverse effects resulting from exposure to, improper storage of, or handling of a hazardous product, and lastly, the name, address, and phone number of the manufacturer. 
Product labels often contain additional information. This information is required to not detract from GHS requirements. Additional information that you may find includes appropriate protective equipment, transport information from the DOT, flashpoint, batch numbers, use statements, expiration dates, first aid information, storage instructions, barcodes, and instructions in case of contact or exposure. Let's take a moment to familiarize yourself with the nine pictograms required on hazardous chemical labels. Here we have included all nine, even though OSHA has only adopted eight of these, it is best practice to understand all of them. This sample label shows all of the information a manufacturer is required to have on a product label. Product identifier, signal word, hazard statement, pictograms, precautionary statement, and the name, address, and phone number of the manufacturer. Use common sense when handling chemicals. Some safe practices to follow include read product labels and follow their instructions, think about the consequences of your actions when using chemicals, treat all substances as if they are hazardous, the proper use makes the difference, and practice good chemical hygiene and housekeeping. Remember, product labels and SDSs will most likely be your main sources of information about the chemicals you encounter in the workplace. When handling chemicals in the workplace, you should always verify that you wear the proper PPE, you handle the chemical correctly, you understand the label's instructions, and that you consult the SDS for instructions on disposal.